be or not to be, to 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 be or not to be. That is a question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep her chance to dream. Aye, there is a rap. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled of this mortal coil must give us pause. There is the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. The patient Mary of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare butkin. Who would fathers bear to grunt and sweat under weary life? A death, the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us really bear those ill we have then fly to others that we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all and thus. The native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises. With a great pitch and moment of disregard, the currents turn awry and lose the name of action.